Hey, what is up, guys? I am Ref Dresserals Two Zero One Three, and today I have a review of Break Drasian. But before we get on to Break Drasian, and yeah, the eye sticker kind of came off. We're gonna take a look at all three packagings you need to make this guy. First is the Axel Drasian packaging itself. I already went through this. For this, you need. Exodrasian's head and Exodrasian's legs. Then we got this Core Render Booster Plus Takaro Tomi. This is the plus one, not volume one. Okay, Takaro Tomi, Gan Gan Hobby, WBMA, and Core Change System. It's a tune up gear, CB34. Some warnings. Core and the booster plus and then you got break Drasian here break core it's the rare core it's a power type and then you got uh custom core and then here you got the stroke core Gouch Max version uh roll core beer guard version Stroke core Leosia version and row core the sword version if I'm not wrong. I mean row core gorge max version. So you have rapid fire control, rapid fire control. And some random stuff there. There you see the row call gorge max version on the sword, but I don't want this. I, I don't want all of these because they're just more repeats, you got Stroke Cost Leosia version, Roll Call Birga version, and uh, Stroke Call Gold Max version. Here you have a lineup of the Beatamons. Uh, not included is uh, Loading Dials, Drift Jacker, Burst Bison, Twin Dresseros, and Smash the Goal. Over here they explain why the break core is better and other stuff and break drasian power type rare core. So then you got the box of the grip arms tune up gear CB25 grip arm power type tune up gear it's a model kit you do have to build it see the sprues. Takara Tomi, Gen Gen Hobby, WBMA, Crossfight, Beat em On. Yeah. Crossfight, Beat em On. But then you got this advertisement thingy showing you Break Drasian, the power, the grip arms, I mean. All also known as Break Arms. But yeah, you can see the sticker sheet and the. Show you this five power two control. Then you got the different modes of Drasian. I mean, uh, the grip arms. I don't like. I I don't understand this and this. The the just combinations of these three. If not, it only a three. Here you have like fifteen exclamation marks. I don't know. And over here you got instructions. And how you put it on Drasian. So set three boxes together like that. Bring in Drasian. You can see, yeah, the head details are the same, and my eyes, yeah, the stickers are kind of misplaced, but who cares? At least he still got eyes. Here's the brick core. You can see there's no barcode, and yeah, long trigger. It has a long trigger, probably the same length as the trigger on the twin core. I have a heavy twin, but I'll just grab my twin core. Okay, here is my twin core. So yeah, the trigger length is the same, which is awesome. 
and yeah, it's also the same as the one on Heavy Twin. So, Brick Drassian, he's very nice. He's a very comfortable beat em on. And for those of you who are wondering which episode he appeared in, probably Crossfire Beat em On Season 1, Episode 10 or 11. I will try to put the episode links in the video description. But take a look at his details you can see some really nice like gold black details and some screws and all that and yeah this to attach it on you just put that in there and then you twist the mode I have him now uh, the mode that he is in now is the anime mode and that is you grip it like that with your two fingers like that then you push like that so let's have a test shot one be dama let's shoot this you can see it's not really that powerful although it does add a little bit of control and like 0.5 power it's really just for the looks and yeah you can do this by just touching the floor so this is nice so the next mode you just twist this out you can see that you can attach them here and here next mode is probably control mode and that you just put it there I, I don't care whether the stats are I mean these screw thingies are facing forward but this mode uh, doesn't really look that nice like from the previous mode uh, that was the nicest looking one but this mode you hold it like that one finger wraps around here one finger over here so because you can see this is quite far so you have to stretch your finger a lot to push it like that like like that and this is a bit nearer it will be better at rapid fire so I would say that this is the control mode and the front ones were the power mode you can see that this doesn't really have as much power as the first one but the last mode is probably the worst mode ever and the most useless mode is so called rapid fire mode and that is you just put that in, twist put these in and then you twist like that this doesn't look nice at all you hold him like that and because you know like I explained it's nearer to your thumbs so it's faster rapid fire yeah it so this is the so called rapid fire mode but whatever I leave him in the anime mode always or I would call it power mode cause yeah I like it sorry wrong side yeah, so this is a very nice beat em on, but if you're looking for a power type, I would recommend you Burst Bison or a Metal Axle Core, because, yeah, they're, they're way more powerful than this. I mean, even if you look at the Heavy Twin Core, this, I mean, this is the Brake Core. And this is a heavy twin. The heavy twin is definitely more powerful. Even though I have a power mantle on, I mean mantle on, if you put a, a normal power block like this, it, it will still be a lot stronger. So, yeah, it, it depends on you if you want to get break Drassian or not. So, 
uh, I'm using Brake Drasian as a replacement because my Metal Axle Core just broke and yeah, it's very sad. But I will be replacing it sooner or later. So, you have just seen a review of Brake Drasian. Thanks for watching and I am Ref Drizzeros2013. And yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.